Oh, hey, I got a check from the County of Ventura today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remy wasn't found, so I get a $5 refund. Because, you know, it's 40 bucks to to do the serve, but I guess if they don't find them, it's still 35 <laughs> It's another check, <laughs> a refund of $5. Yeah, another refund, it, I guess, from that kid, you know, who wasn't served successfully, the one that destroyed the lighting on that pole. And uh, my neighbor claimed that she has no contact information on him, even though he was working for her. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting ready for work. It's the day after Halloween, and uh, I think last night, <laughs> the trick-or-treating that was taking place, the, the last people that showed up on this doorstep at uh, nine something, I, I think it was my neighbors, <laughs> actually. And, uh, I, I'll show you the video and you'll, you can tell me if you think it's uh, Misty and Derek as Jason and the Cowardly Lion. I mean, they were cute costumes, but uh, and they didn't say anything other than trick or treat. <laughs> but I noticed that Jason was definitely checking out the security cameras. I mean, you know, um, I can't say for certain it's them, but <laughs> it kind of feels like it was. I mean, as soon as they opened the door, because, you know, first of all, they're not kids. <laughs> These were, you know, and I know that the height and weight, basically, of my neighbors. Uh, but yeah, these were definitely not kids. And, you know, I have this rule, no candy unless you're wearing a costume. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, I got a feeling it was them. And that's okay. Yeah, maybe they just wanted to, I guess, see me for themselves up close, or I don't know. It was Halloween. Maybe they just wanted some candy. <laughs> okay, so this is them walking up to the door. And as you can see, Jason over there is just checking out the camera area. Okay, we'll get it from another angle here. And here they come up. And again, you'll notice that the Jason character goes off to the left. And he's just staring up at the cameras. And again, another angle. And then there they are walking back towards my neighbor's house. Okay, so I just got off work <laughs> and... Uh, I just wanted to make sure I have these videos. I'm definitely going to save them just in case it turns out that this is actually Derek and Misty. I mean, if it is, you know, so what? They're trick-or-treating. They wanted some candy. But <laughs> at the same time, the, the fact that I noticed that the Jason character, you know, was looking directly into the camera, like, you know, trying to figure out where all the cameras are. You know what I mean? I, I just know that these were the only two adults I had trick-or-treating <laughs> last night. So, I think it's them. I could be wrong. It could be two other adults that, you know, live on, I guess, the block somewhere that I'm not aware of. But they definitely went straight over to that house. And, you know, they came here at the very end of the night. They're definitely looking up at the, the cameras, <laughs> looking around. And... Uh, but they did leave us some candy. <laughs> All right, so this morning's mail from the sheriff's telling me that once again, uh, on Halloween, whatever, they tried to serve that third party, uh, third party levy, you know, where the tenants are supposed to pay me the rent instead of her. And the defendant <laughs> states, I don't have any tenants. I'm looking at them right now, right? <laughs> Good thing I sent that other uh, subpoena to the non-tenants because they are definitely still witnesses and they can't claim if nothing else that they're not a witness <laughs> to what's going on. Yeah, I'm doing my daily cleanup and of course <laughs> this trash just laying there. Look, the non-tenants have arrived. <laughs> yeah, they don't live there though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're clearly trying to just, you know, I guess, irritate me. I don't know. I just know that clearly, you know, the sheriff just sent me a note stating that defendant number one, who I'll see in the courtroom here soon, um, stated that these are not tenants. 
<laughs> Clearly they've been spending the night there now for quite some time. Clearly they're tenants. Clearly they're more than just guests. Okay, because they are working their butt off. I will give them credit for that next door. <laughs> but in the meantime, they're also messing with me because they're, you know, deliberately parking in front of my cameras and my light, even though they don't like the cameras and the light. I mean, they could clearly pull it up and park in front of that house where they're a guest of. But no. <laughs> they want me to just, you know, keep an eye on them, I guess. I don't know. I just know that, uh, yeah, so they claim they're not tenants, and provided that sheriff is able to serve those subpoenas for them being witnesses, then, you know, if they do get those subpoenas at that address, they're going to have to explain why they got the subpoenas at that address, right? <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my neighbor clearly has no intentions of paying. Clearly is still going to do whatever she can to keep irritating me. Clearly has no regard for uh, anybody <laughs> at all. Mm. Here you see her pulling up in her Jeep, which appears to be back. And then them following. Well, I hope they pick up their stuff that they left laying on the curb when they took off <laughs> earlier today. Yeah, they're not tenants, though. They're definitely not tenants. They just use it as overnight parking. And yes, the Jeep has returned. I'm going to go ahead and move my car back down there. And <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to move my car back down to the front and, you know, if they hit it, they mess with it, whatever, they're going to do it. There's nothing I can do about it. But uh, in the meantime, I'm not going to be, you know, just allowing them to, you know, dictate what's happening in my own front yard here. And I definitely don't want them stepping on my plants. Yeah, that uh, rack, whatever it is, is attached to the vehicle. It's definitely right pretty much on my uh, front license plate there. Okay, so the Jeep just pulled away. I'm hoping they take that as a hint. <laughs> they can move their vehicle up in front of the house that they don't live at. Yeah, definitely not going to pull up. <laughs> yeah, clearly he was out there with the keys, made no attempt to move that vehicle up in front of the house where he's staying at. And of course, you know, my neighbor's Jeep that just returned, <laughs> uh, it's parked across the way. So there's that whole space that can fit two vehicles at least in front of her house. <laughs> Nobody's going to park there. They got to park in front of here <laughs> and park across the way. <sighs> and clearly he had the ability to move that vehicle of his up because there's ample room and uh, he had the keys. <laughs> you know, but instead he walks around his vehicle, inches in between my car and his, opens up the trunk and starts grabbing stuff out of it. So yeah, it's not my imagination. They're trying to do whatever they can to irritate me right now. And even if they are irritating me, I'm just going to keep saving the footage. Because, you know, we do get in that courtroom soon. You know, it's really crazy. It's like I said, I just can't get over the fact that all of this is happening. Because my neighbor owes me money. Because three judges told my neighbor she owes me money. And somehow, I'm the bad guy because I'm trying to collect it legally through the sheriff. Yep, still has chosen to just leave it there rather than move it up in front of the house <laughs> that he is living at. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> clearly my neighbor and her tenants that are not tenants are going out of their way to, I guess, try and irritate me or make me come out and yell at them. I don't know what their actual goal is at this point, but whatever it is, 
you know, um, <laughs> like I say, if, if, if they do anything to my vehicle or the property or anything like that, I, I do have the license plate. I do have the make and model of the car, the names. It wouldn't be very smart of them to do anything, but, you know, the fact that they're willing to lie to the sheriff and say they're not tenants tells me that, you know, they're not very smart to begin with. So, whatever it is that my neighbor has somehow convinced these tenants that are not tenants to go out on a limb and cause me grief, you know, I hope it's causing them grief eventually. <laughs> I do. I, like I said, I hope it's causing my neighbor grief that she's having to come up with new ways to cause me grief. We do get in that courtroom soon. Uh, yeah, a couple, couple weeks here. <laughs> uh, November the 18th. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I plan on showing the judge just what I've been putting up with. And, yeah, if they do anything to me, the property, whatever, I got plenty of video. And if they're, yeah, I guess, willing to uh, go out on a limb on behalf of that sweet little old lady who lives next door to me that obviously is not very sweet, <laughs> then that's their choice. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Back to loading and unloading. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they mess with the car, you know, I do have the license plate. Make model of their car names. And if it comes down to it, I, I guess I could always go to DMV. Oh, he's moving the car, he's moving the car. Oh, he's making a U-turn. <laughs> okay. And there he goes. Yeah, I'm going to go move my car up. <laughs> yeah, I moved it up a little further. There should be no excuse for them to be anywhere in this vicinity. Yeah, they claim they don't live there. <laughs> but one thing's certain, they don't live here. So they can park in front of the house they don't live at. Yeah, I pulled up there, so, you know. When they get back, they can park on that side of the pole, which is where they don't live, right? <laughs> and yes, I put my trash can back out behind me. Just to make sure they can't park behind me. Yeah. Back from that, uh, I guess, liquor store run or whatever they went to for a few minutes. Okay, they and they parked in front of that pole, so that's good. <laughs> they don't appear to be doing the backing up to the... To the hood. So yeah, they took back off. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know who's driving, who's riding, whatever. But so they pulled in, noted that there's a trash can behind my car, noted that my car moved up, and noted they had to go park in front of the house where they claim they don't live. <laughs> but at least they didn't back up. And they were there for like a minute and a half and then whipped a Yui and took back off. So maybe they forgot something at the store. Ah, it's a long day today, but anyway, tomorrow's Monday, and I got to go back to the courthouse to turn in another one of those memorandum of costs so that, you know, it all gets accounted for, and, um, well, that next Monday, there is no courthouse open because it's a holiday, and then the following Monday is court, so, yeah, I got to go tomorrow. The uh, question is, can I go before I go to work, or can I go after I go to work? I don't know yet. I still got to figure out with my appointments what time I'm going to get there, but yeah. <laughs> got to go to the courthouse again tomorrow.